Okay, hello everyone. So this video is for Glory B. She just commented on one of my videos telling me that she can't find French dressing anywhere. So we're gonna make one for you. And it really isn't very hard to make. Uh, you just need a couple of ingredients that you actually probably have at home. So this is my French dressing that I buy. And if you taste it, you can actually try to reproduce what's in there. For example, we know that it has an oil base because if you look at the ingredients behind the bottle, it does have oil. So we're going to put some oil in our, in our jar. Okay, so I'm going to use a sunflower oil because you could use olive oil, but olive oil is going to give you that taste of olive oil. So I'm going to go for sunflower because I like sunflower oil. It is one of the best oils you can buy out there. I don't trust the vegetable oil so much and I don't try the saffron oil. So I stick with the, uh, with the sunflower. So we're going to use, let's see, I don't want to make a huge, huge amount. And I don't want to make, I want to make a lot because I have and I don't want to make too little. Okay, we're going to start off with half a cup, well maybe a little more than half a cup. Okay, well let's start off with half a cup and we'll play it by ear, okay guys? And then right there you're going to have the full amount ingredients, even though I'll say a teaspoon. If you see that I wrote a tablespoon, it's because I went back and added more. So your ingredients will be marked right there for you. Okay, so we've got half a cup of oil. I'm writing this down, guys. So this way, I won't mess up. We're going to put some salt to that. Things that I can remember early on. And we're going to start off with maybe... See. I'm trying to see how much oil I'm going to put. I should measure this, see? Eh? Okay, we're going to say about half a teaspoon to start. We're going to put some ketchup to this. Let's see, how much ketchup can we use? Because I know for sure that has ketchup. Let me just empty this out. Tablespoon. We don't want it too red because then it's not going to look like. Let's try one, maybe two. We're going to start off with two for now. Let me write this down. Two ketchups. Okay. We're going to put a little piece of onion because you know there's onion. For sure, the onion in this recipe, I have to go get it because my husband used it all. We know for sure it's got onion. So we're going to take, let's see. I'm guessing this is like about a tablespoon. If I would crush this up. There we go. If I would crush this up, I would say this is about a tablespoon of onion. So we're going to put about a tablespoon uh, of onion into this mixture. We're going to put like a pinch of black pepper. We're going to try and make it a little gourmet. A nice big pinch of maybe two pinches of black pepper. We're going to put uh, some vinegar. For sure we need vinegar. Mm, yeah, tangy. Vinegar, but I think you could probably put lemon, but then it's going to taste too much like lemon. So we're going to put a little bit of white vinegar. And we're going to start with one eight. So that is half of this. We're going to start off with one eight, and then we're going to give that a go and check it out. Okay, one eight. Uh, let me see. Maybe a little bit of water. You want to put some water in that? We'll see after we've mixed it. Do I have any garlic here? And we're going to put a little bit of garlic. 
maybe half a clove of garlic. And remember, we could always add, right? Now, I'm going to try and get it as close to this taste as possible. So I'm going to put half. Put this aside just in case I need it. We're going to put a little bit of mustard. And just a little bit. So that would be maybe a quarter, about a quarter teaspoon of mustard. Uh, maybe we should just blend that up and see if it needs anything else. I might need some paprika for color. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to blend this up first. And then I'm going to tell you if there's anything else. Oh, sweetness. Yes, sweetness. So we're going to use some maple for that. Let's hope it's not going to be too dark. We're going to see. Hopefully it won't get too dark on me. I'm using a dark maple because that's all I have. I'm putting three tablespoons. But if you have a lighter maple, maybe some agave, because you, you want to stay away from the white, white sugar, right? Because if you're buying the stuff, I'm sure there's white sugar in there. So we're going to try and put a healthier sugar. Okay, so we're going to blend this up and see what it's like. Hey, Nutribullet, if you want to sponsor me, I'm here, guys. I'm always using your... I'm always recommending your Nutribullet. Okay, let's just mix this up, and we'll see if we're missing anything. I'm probably going to have to put some paprika in there. Yeah, definitely going to be putting some paprika, but I want to taste it first. Oop, did I lose that? Wow. I'm almost mm, tangier. A little more vinegar. Okay, let's put a little more vinegar. So we're going to put another... Eighth of a cup, a little more mustard, so instead of a quarter, I'd say a half, right? Okay, and definitely we need paprika for color. Let's see what I can do. We're going to start off with one teaspoon and see what color it gives us. Still need a redder. We're getting there though. Mm -hmm, look at that. Oh my god. You know what? More mustard. So what did I say? A quarter, quarter. That's a half. That's a half a teaspoon. This is really good. I mean, I could leave it the way it is. What did you put? Did I just break that? Okay, that's another quarter, and we're going to put, I don't want to go too dark, maybe another half a teaspoon of paprika, and I think we might have our French dressing, guys. Okay, store-bought, oh my god, got vacuum sucked. And that's, yeah, a little more ketchup. Hold on. How much ketchup did I say? Two tablespoons. We're going to put three. Three tablespoons of ketchup. More ketchup. For sure, more ketchup. We're almost there, guys. Maybe even more paprika. You ready, guys? That's store-bought, and that's mine. A little lighter, eh? But wow! Pretty close, guys. So I would say extra paprika. We're going to put another paprika. 
maybe another half. I'm going to have to watch this video all over again to see. Okay, let's try this again. Really good though. Wow, that's really good. Tastes almost like it. There we go. Really, really good. Store-bought, that's mine. And that taste, if not even better than this one. Wow. I'm impressed. Maybe a little extra oil. But I'm impressed. So there you go, guys. I'm just going to add that little extra oil for you. Maybe another two tablespoons of oil. And that should be it. I will mix it up all together later on. But I am going to add another two tablespoons of oil to this mixture. And, and don't forget, if you're making my fish recipe, I use it. If you're making uh, the mock McDonald's hamburger, the... Um, uh, what's it called? The uh, the Big Mac. I use that recipe also. So there you go. Very simple. Maybe a little extra paprika. And this is almost identical, guys. You know what's good about this? Yeah, I'm going to put this back in and show you the new color. Because, no, I'm just talking to... Color is almost identical now, guys. I added extra. Oh my god, this is good. Okay, how good is this? Delicious. Better than better than the bar one, eh? Yeah. Okay, so there you go, guys. Very simple to make. And uh, glory be, I hope you like this recipe. And it's all stuff that you have in the house. Um, it is. It's all stuff you have in the house. I wouldn't use olive oil because it might be a little too olivey. You want to use something that's got a neutral flavor and... Sunflower is pretty good when it comes to that. I use sunflower oil for my mayos. So, um, and vinegar, I would use the white vinegar because you can taste that the original has a white vinegar, not um, not an apple cider because that's going to change it up a lot. But hey, if you want to use apple cider, go ahead and use apple cider. But there you go. French dressing, two minutes to make, and you always have it handy and when that runs out you can make a new batch without having to run to the store and glory be you don't even have to go look for it now you have your ingredients right here i hope you like this recipe guys and guess what i'll see you in the next one make yourself a healthy big mac for more videos like this make sure to subscribe to connie's rawsome kitchen give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends